birds singing warnings that the cats are here. And little Judy, her bag is out. We have them turned out here because we're giving them fresh straw before the storm. But Judy seems to not be minding at all that she's lambing and interested only in grazing fresh green grass, which is no surprise. But you can see she has two of her water bags are out. So she'll be lambing imminently. But she doesn't care. She wants to eat the grass. She's not interested in the fact she's a first time mother. <laughs> the other yos are here as well. Out having a graze while we're bedding with fresh straw. So there we go. Well, she's got her tail up. Oh, she's having a poop. No interest in lambing. <laughs> Goodness me. Looks like Tom wants to be involved with everything that's going on. Yeah, oh, there you are. Yeah, hello. Hey, yeah. There's Ebony. And in the back there is Judy. So I had to go away for a little while. And Susan, you were here. Oh, I've just got a cat on my shoulder. <laughs> There's time on my shoulder, leapt up. <laughs> anyway, we're here because um, Judy's having a lamb. Ebony's not. She's just having strokes. Oh look, is your shoulder gonna get on? Oh look, oh, just totally wanting to get involved in the stroking of <laughs> Ebony. Look at that. No. <laughs> She's bumping him. She's like, no, I'm not sharing. Not sharing, look at that. <laughs> Ebony, you're gonna get you're gonna headbutt time. Oh, there we go. Okay, back on my shoulder. <laughs> anyway, back to the main conversation, yeah. which is not about time climbing on shoulders. But I left you to go and do some storm prep work yes. and to watch um, Judy. And uh, she, oh God. Really? She's acting like Judy did when we were trying to film the other lamb. Yes, exactly. Judy, something else is happening. So time is being time. Anyway, there's time and Inca watching Judy, who's nesting over there. But when I left you, yes. that we were all outside, Yes. And she was lambing outside. And then she suddenly said, well, there was a, a so two sacks had come out and no feet or anything was appearing. And she was just strolling. And then I was like, oh, wait, look. So a third sack appeared. So I rang to Susanna because I just wanted to let her know. I said, a third sack is coming is, you know, and Susanna was like, triplets. So, no, no, I didn't say triplets. Oh, <laughs> She said that was normal, you know. Yeah, I didn't say triplets. She didn't say triplets. No, 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 she's but, too small to have had triplets. So I was thinking, oh, triplets, but um, she, oh, she's standing up. She's something's happening. But she's been going around eating pretty much unconcerned. No, but she was out grazing, and then she came to the oh, gate yeah, and sorry, said. Oh, yeah, sorry, then, then she was, so she was grazing around, and uh, totally unconcerned, and then she was like, okay, it's time, and she just made a beeline for the gate. To she get back to come in. come in to get her shelter because she knew probably action was going to start happening. Yeah, and so she's been nesting over there for the last five minutes or yeah, so? Yeah, just about five minutes. Oh, she's doing the licky oh, thing Oh, she's now. doing the licky thing now, yeah. So she's... Okay, so busy. she's... Um, the yawning, because contractions are happening, and the licky thing, there's the licky thing. And then Inca is getting up in the hay so that she can have a good view, as always. Look, there she is yawning. She's found a very nice corner that, to nest in right there. So hopefully we'll be available to watch the uh, lambing this time. As I've been running around doing storm preparation because it sounds like this storm is gonna be huge that's coming in on top of us. It'll either be huge or a very passive breeze. Here's fingers crossed it's a passive breeze, but I have a feeling it's not.
And you're going to lamb in the middle of it. Isn't that right, Ebony? Absolutely. You're going to lamb in the middle of it. Little Miss Inca sitting in here. And there's a Judy pacing around, moaning and muttering as her contractions increase. Everybody else is very relaxed, just hanging out. Nothing's happening as far as they're concerned. There's Judy. She's gonna start doing some serious contractions. She's made her nest. Becky and Ebony. Luckily, fresh bedding just went in. So, perfect timing as far as lambing is concerned. This is Damaris. Or Demetris or Demar, ah, however you pronounce that name. Look, she's now hiding around the corner. Confused. She's, um, this is her first lamb. So, keeping a close eye on her. And of course, as I'm standing here, who comes over but for some attention but Miss Ebony. And I'd say you're going to lamb at the height of this coming storm, aren't you? exactly what you're gonna do isn't it the height of the storm you're gonna say okay I'm gonna lamb now isn't that right you bold girl Susan getting her prime location seat watching uh, Judy giving birth over there in the corner Back scratch time. So, Susan filmed me. I got the whole thing. Helping a certain person give birth to their first lamb. Because he was a big, big, big boy. Now, you can see she's a little bit shook with the yawning. And it was quite an effort. So, I syringe a wonderful, juicy thing into my use that helps them. Oh, she wants to get up. Oh, there we go. So this is very good. She's a first time mother and she's not like ear feather and rejecting her lamb. So, which is the good news, but I'm gonna give her a syringe full of delicious stuff. We have an audience of horses. This is a bale of hay that I'm about to unload, but lambing prevailed. And uh, the horses are all in for the storm. We've had torrential rain and I've got soaking wet and a new change of clothes. So I'm gonna go get her a syringe full of stuff. And Susan is, uh, oh, and look, you've got a buddy Becky right next to you. She's waiting for me to move so that she can get at the hay. See, look, she's not even waiting for me to move. She's getting at the hay as soon as she can. <laughs> 